Hey everybody, we are looking at my T-Bar and Gudgeon tank and I'm down here feeding everybody for the evening and when I got over to this tank, the first thing I noticed was a dead rainbow fish at the bottom of the tank. I have no idea why it's dead. Uh, I did have someone point out the other day when we were looking at the rainbow fish in here, I shot a video of them showing spawning behavior and if you looked at the fins the tail fins especially on a couple of them they looked a little tattered and raggedy there's one right there if you look at the tail fin on that one it looks sort of torn up and they were asking whether that was because of the darting and dashing behavior or was it because you know this fish perhaps was nipping and biting at them and I honestly don't know uh, it's not on all of them it only seems to be on the larger more dominant males seem to have a little bit of torn up fins so I'm thinking maybe it's that kind of behavior that's doing it so how we ended up with one dead I'm not sure I did just do a pretty big water change though the other day I shot another video where I talked about the pH in this tank and the pH was really low it was down to about 5.7 and I did a reasonably significant water change. I did about a 25% water change and I brought the pH up to about um, 6.4 which is still pretty low but that's a significant jump upwards and I don't know maybe did that have something to do with it? I find it a little hard to believe that one water change that's not really any different than any of the other water changes I've done. I haven't changed the way I've maintained this tank so I'm not sure if that would be it or not. The rainbow fish themselves have been showing this kind of increased activity. They're getting really big for this tank. So I've been talking for a while about moving them. And I'm tending to think it's got more to do with this sort of pseudo-aggression, this mating aggression, than it does anything else. And this fish perhaps was overly stressed already. Uh, the water change and the shift in the pH probably didn't help its immune system if it was being taxed already and being harassed and stressed by these other animals. I'm not really sure. Don't know what to make of that, but I'm not quite willing to just chalk it up to that water change. And as of this morning, everybody was in there fine. When I came down to turn the lights on, I didn't notice any unusual behavior, coloring, nothing. Everybody in the tank looked perfectly fine. And it's been a couple days since that water change now. So, I don't think that was it. I don't know. But it's possible. I like to try to think of all the, you know, all the possible things that I might have done differently in the near uh, recent past. And that's it. That's all I can think of was that water change that, again, didn't do a whole lot. It didn't really significantly shift the pH. It didn't really significantly shift the nitrates. Uh, it was just a 20 to 25% water change. So... I don't know, but there you go. There's my update. Another dead fish. I also had somebody point out recently that I seem to be videoing a lot of dead fish lately. And I will admit, I have had a string of uh, dead fish or sick fish, but a lot of it is due to age. And some of it is due to they were new fish that just got brought in and some had ick and so there was issues there. And then again a lot of these other fish are my older fish that have been around for a while and they're just sort of starting to expire. This is not the case with this angel, I mean this um, rainbow fish. The, the, these are not that old. They're nowhere near approaching the end of their lifespan. So what killed this one? I don't know. Another mystery. But there you go. That was your update. I got to get back to feeding everybody. I will certainly pick up the camera and video anything else if I notice anything else worth uh, videoing, anything else of interest. So thanks again for watching. Make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss any little updates I do. Uh, you never know what you're going to get with me, good, bad, or indifferent. I always shoot video of everything. So thanks for watching this one, and I hope to see you real soon in the next one.